step into the legal drama of the 1986 TV series L.A. Lore. With its mix of humor, shockers, and poignant moments, the show keeps viewers on their toes. Have you picked a favorite character from the diverse roles in the series? Or perhaps you were drawn to a classic Hollywood actor making waves in the show? The series weaves through the lives of lawyers at McKenzie, Brackman, Cheney, and Cusack tackling legal battles inside and outside the courtroom. Now, who's your standout character, and did a particular Hollywood veteran steal the spotlight for you? As you reminisce about the show, share your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to it in the comments below. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unfold in this legal roller coaster. Keep watching. What's your favorite role? Any classic Hollywood actor stand out? And of course, share your cherished L.A. lore memories below. We can't wait to hear your tales. Diligently followed, L.A. lore secured a significant position in NBC's lineup, notably occupying the coveted 10 Eastern 9 Central slot on Thursdays during its enduring run. Emerging as a stalwart of must-see Thursday from its second season onward, the series delved into the professional and, to varying extents, personal aspects of the Los Angeles law firm of McKenzie, Brackman, and by its third season, Becker. Featuring prominent figures like Harry Hamlin and Susan Day initially, the show evolved to showcase an ensemble cast, including Jimmy Smith, Corbin Burnson, Blair Underwood, Larry Drake, Alan Ratchens, John Spencer, and Richard Dysart. The narrative unfolded through a rich tapestry of characters, with storylines tackling a diverse array of contemporary issues and legal cases ranging from the absurd to the somber within a single episode. Despite encountering darker turns around its fifth season and experiencing shifts in the cast, the show maintained a commendable balance, leaving a lasting impression. It has been a few years since revisiting an episode, yet the prospect of stumbling upon one during cable reruns feels familiar. The collaborative efforts of creator Stephen Bochco and co-producer writer David Kelly resulted in a well-received television offering remembered fondly by this viewer. While the inclination to purchase DVDs may not be immediate, the openness to watching an episode if encountered remains. In essence, L.A. lore, with its dynamic storytelling and memorable characters, has left an enduring mark in the landscape of television. Douglas Brackman Jr., a key figure at the law firm in focus, displayed a portrait of his father in his office. Interestingly, this portrait depicted Ratchin's own father, adding a personal touch to the character's background. Throughout the series, the legal professionals at Mackenzie Brackman faced their fair share of legal troubles. Almost every partner or associate experienced an arrest at some point during the show's run, injecting a dose of realism into the portrayal of the legal world. In the opening credits, the license plate, a subtle yet notable detail, underwent a change. Initially affixed to the rear of a Jaguar for the first seven seasons, it later adorned a Bentley Continental R in the final season. This shift aligned with the storyline as Arnie Becker contemplated acquiring the prestigious vehicle, which eventually became a gift in a later episode. These nuanced details, from personal connections through family portraits to the legal entanglements of the characters, contributed to the layered storytelling of the series. The show's attention to such subtleties, alongside its exploration of the legal profession's complexities, added depth to the narrative, making it a compelling watch. The curtain fell on the legal drama in 1994 as L.A. Lore wrapped up its final episode after a lengthy run. Corbin Burnson, part of the ensemble cast, phoned into the Howard Stern show shortly before the last scene was shot on the morning of May 10, 1994. A poignant farewell to an era. In a revealing Emmy TV Legends interview, David E. Kelly disclosed the reasoning behind killing off Rosalind Shays. As Kelly departed from the show, he chose this narrative twist to safeguard the integrity of a character he held dear, ensuring she wouldn't fall into the hands of another writer. Among the ensemble, two married couples stood out Ann Kelsey and Stuart Markovitz and Douglas and Sheila Brackman. Notably, the real-life marriages of the actors and actresses added a unique dimension to the on-screen dynamics. This off-screen connection between cast members added an interesting layer to the portrayal of married life within the legal confines of the series. These personal touches extended beyond the relationships as seen in Douglas Brackman Jr.'s office adorned with a portrait of his father. Interestingly, the portrait depicted actor Alan Ratchin's own father, infusing the character's background with a personal touch. The show's attention to such subtleties contributed to the layered storytelling, creating a more immersive experience for the audience. 
From legal entanglements to personal connections, the series showcased a realistic portrayal of the legal world. Arrests were not reserved for the side characters. Almost every partner or associate faced legal troubles, injecting a dose of realism into the unfolding narrative. Nuanced details further enriched the viewing experience, such as the subtle shift in the license plate's placement on different luxury cars throughout the seasons. This shift mirrored the storyline, aligning with character Arnie Becker's contemplation of acquiring a prestigious vehicle. As the series bid adieu in 1994, it left behind a legacy that extended beyond the courtroom. L.A. lore, with its well-crafted storytelling and memorable characters, continues to resonate with viewers, offering a glimpse into the complexities of the legal profession, both in and out of the courtroom. In its final moments, L.A. lore left viewers with a shocking twist. Just before the last scene was shot on the morning of May 10, 1994, Corbin Burnson, a key part of the ensemble cast, phoned into the Howard Stern Show. It marked the poignant farewell to an era emphasizing the emotional weight of the series' conclusion. A lesser-known fact, tucked away in an Emmy TV Legends interview with David E. Kelly, revealed the reasoning behind the demise of Rosalind Shays. Kelly, departing from the show, chose this narrative turn to safeguard the integrity of a character he held dear, ensuring she wouldn't fall into the hands of another writer. Amidst the legal intricacies and personal dynamics, two married couples stood out in the ensemble cast Ann Kelsey and Stuart Markovitz and Douglas and Sheila Brackman. Beyond the scripted relationships, the real-life marriages of the actors and actresses added a unique layer to the on-screen dynamics. This off-screen connection between cast members provided an interesting backdrop to the portrayal of married life within the legal confines of the series. The series, while bidding adieu in 1994, left behind more than legal dramas. These personal touches extended beyond the relationships, as seen in Douglas Brackman, Jr.'s office adorned with a portrait of his father. The intriguing detail here is that the portrait depicted actor Alan Ratchin's own father, infusing the character's background with a personal touch. Such subtleties, combined with the exploration of legal complexities, contributed to the layered storytelling, creating a more immersive experience for the audience. Throughout its enduring run, L.A. lore didn't shy away from injecting realism into its portrayal of the legal world. Arrests were not reserved for side characters. Almost every partner or associate faced legal troubles, adding a dose of authenticity to the unfolding narrative. Nuanced details like the subtle shift in the license plate's placement on different luxury cars throughout the seasons mirrored the storyline, aligning with character Arnie Becker's contemplation of acquiring a prestigious vehicle. As the series bid adieu in 1994, it left behind a legacy that extended beyond the courtroom. L.A. lore, with its well-crafted storytelling and memorable characters, continues to resonate with viewers, offering a glimpse into the complexities of the legal profession both in and out of the courtroom.